Hey, my name is Ryan Earnhardt from creativesoundlab.tv, where audio recording is an art form. Well, today we're gonna to be doing a little bit of a shootout. This is kind of a weird one, but I've always wanted to do it, is take off the basket, the um, protection of the capsule, take all that junk off, so we are just left with a exposed uh, microphone capsule at the top of a large diaphragm condenser mic, and just see what the difference is in sound and it yielded some pretty interesting results. Um, I did not expect this to happen, so it was pretty cool. Um, so definitely kind of got over my head um, on this one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play you the stock microphone, then I'm gonna play you example two, is going to be just um, with the basket, the head part, um, just unscrewed, okay? It's not really secure. Then I'm gonna take it off in the middle of the demo and that'll be demo three. Demo three will be no protection. Uh, there is a windscreen, so you know we're not blowing into the mic. This is just spoken word. Hey, my friend Ryan came by to help me out with this and I just wanted to do this quick test. Let's check it out. Here we go in three, two, and one. This past year, I had a breakthrough with how I record drums. With all the videos I film, I conduct experiments and try tons of techniques. Everyone has ideas on how to best record drums. There are thousands of blog posts and videos, and it's pretty overwhelming. From someone starting out, a lot of these techniques are not helpful to them and actually make recording drums a lot harder. I wanted to narrow down the techniques and teach a method that anyone could do. This past year, I had a breakthrough with how I record drums. With all the videos I film, I conduct experiments and try tons of techniques. Everyone has ideas on how to best record drums. There are thousands of blog posts and videos, and it's pretty overwhelming. From someone starting out, a lot of these techniques are not helpful to them and actually make recording drums a lot harder. I wanted to narrow down the techniques and teach a method that anyone could do. Okay, so I was not expecting that the basket would protect the mic from interference, from buzzing, humming, things like that. I just was not expecting it to be an, as electrically related to the soundness of the microphone. Um, now, the actual acoustic sound, the tone of the mic, I was expecting a huge difference. I was expecting a lot more high end. I was expecting... Um, maybe some sort of weird um, uh, boost and the, the upper mids maybe, maybe a little bit boost in the 3K range to make the vocals cut in a mix kind of, I don't know what I was thinking, but I just wanted to see what it would do and I was kind of surprised it didn't have too big of an effect on the sound. And once again, please don't do this stuff, you know? Um, don't mess with your mics, get a technician to do that stuff. But I'd love to hear your thoughts on the tone, the results, uh, man, you know, I was just completely surprised by what happened. So be hanging out in the comments below.